Hello, this is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and Continuing and Distance Education. This uh, video will demonstrate how to create a protected data format file from a photograph or images and uh, then upload them to Learn Dropbox. So let's get on with the show here. Um, the first thing that I'm going to go and do is locate the directory that I have some photographs in and uh, I should have something in here. I have a photograph that uh, seemed to be of text so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy it. I could close that down now because I have it on the clipboard now and of course um, I'm going to go and open Word. I'm going to paste this by uh, right-clicking on the page and just pasting it. And I see that there's a problem right away. Um, the orientation does not fit the page. We have uh, uh, an orientation that we need to flip around. This is called um, landscape orientation and we have a portrayal orientation of the page itself. So I'm going to double-click on this. And when you double-click <coughs> on this, the uh, format for pictures come up and you could rotate that uh, image right here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is that um, I noticed that there's quite a big margin around this here, so I'm going to go and choose a smaller margin. I have to go um, to page layout and margins, and I'm going to look for the smallest margin. I have uh, one inch, uh, one half inch, one inch, and it looks like this is the smallest right here. We have uh, one in one half inch all the way around. So I'm going to choose that. You notice the this uh, picture actually moved over a bit, so it's uh, it's adjusted the margin for for this page. I am now going to grab onto these uh, these spots here, and I'm going to pull this open. Okay, I'm going to pull it open to fit the page more or less, and there you go that's about the best that I could do with it okay now I have um, my assignment if it's uh, your assignment that you're doing and it came from a from a picture or maybe a, a, a video not necessarily a video but a picture and it might be from your phone or something like that and you could put it right into Word and then uh, I'm going to just show you another thing here I'm going to double click or triple click click right here and I should have my cursor right at that point if I were to hit my my uh, enter button a couple of times you'll see that another page comes up so if if this was my assignment and this is the first page of my assignment I could go and uh, paste another page here okay so therefore you could do as many pages as you want within the same file okay now I don't need this blank page so I'm gonna remove it by just hitting my uh, my back button and it's gone the next step that I have to do with this is that uh, I have to make it into a PDF and to do that I have to save this particular file in Word as a PDF so how am I gonna do that I am going to uh, go at uh, the window icon here and I'm gonna go save as okay when I hit save as it's gonna ask me for a file name well first of all let's go and set the directory I'm gonna place it on the desktop and it's gonna ask me for a file name I'm gonna name this one trial PDF that is trial protected data format. Now that didn't change the Word file into a PDF. What you have to do is go into the the file type and choose PDF down here. Okay? And there's other ways of doing this also. Um, you could print it as a PDF but this is the easiest way that I know how to do it. It is going to be on my desktop. It has a file name trial PDF and the file type will be PDF. Once I save this, it opens up immediately 
either in Adobe Acrobat if you have that installed in your computer or Adobe Word okay now when we look at this um, looks like the same file that we've uh, we've cre created in uh, in Word I'm gonna close this down the file is made it should be on my desktop this is my Word file and I'm gonna close this also it's gonna ask me if I want to save it no I do not and when I look on my desktop now, I see that I have a trial PDF. Now the next thing that I have to go and do is upload this file into Learn, into Learn's Dropbox actually. So I'm gonna, I'm already in Learn, so I'm gonna just open up that window. As you could see, um, I'm gonna go under Assessment, and I'm gonna look at Dropbox. There it is, and I'm gonna choose one of these Dropbox. To place this assignment in. Well, I'm going to choose the last one in this case. And it has some instructions up uh, in this area here about the Dropbox and the due dates and so on. And uh, of course, I'm going to add a file. Okay. That file, I'm going to browse for it. And I'm going to browse desktop. <coughs> well, it's already a desktop trial PDF and it's already there I'm gonna upload it now to to learn to learn Dropbox by hitting the upload button okay it's all done it's uploaded if you want to leave a comment in here for me then you could do that and then you could hit submit all right so I'm going to submit it again. Uh, you always have to submit it at the end. And uh, that is submitted. Let's go and just take a, a quick look here. I'm going to get out from the student mode here. I'm just going to get out of it uh, so that I could see if your assignment has been uploaded or if the assignment has been uploaded. I'm going to go on the assessment again, Dropbox. And it was the last one that I placed it in and I could see that there is an assignment or a file in there okay and uh, basically that's the way to use your smartphone and uh, if you don't have a scanner available to you and create a PDF file of several pages actually several pages you could create a PDF file you just have to go to the bottom and um, and uh, hit return a couple of times and it'll create another page in Word so keep that in mind, have fun, and this is another option for you to submit your uh, work on time with. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.